Exercise 8.41. Consider the precipitation reaction 2 sodium phosphate plus 3 copper 2 chloride. They react to produce copper 2 phosphate and sodium chloride. Uh, the reason I say copper 2 is because uh, copper is a transition metal. Uh, in ionic compounds, copper may be plus 1 or plus 2 charged. So if you say copper 2, you know it's plus 2 charged in the compound. Now let's uh, look at uh, this part A. What volume of 0 0.194 molar sodium phosphate solution is necessary to completely react with 89.4 milliliters of 0 0.109 molar copper 2 chloride. Uh, first, if we look at the chemical equation, it's balanced. And you can see for every three moles of copper 2 chloride, uh, we need two moles of sodium phosphate there's a 2 to 3 ratio. So if we can get the number of moles of copper to chloride, we should multiply that number by 2 thirds to get the number of uh, sodium phosphate. And obviously we can use these two pieces of data of copper to chloride to compute its number of moles. We have the volume in milliliters and the concentration in molar. So let's do this. We have 0 0.0894 liters uh, and 0 0.189 molar. Now we have the number of moles of copper to chloride. Now we need to multiply by 2, divide by 3 to get the number of moles sodium sulfate. All right. Uh, this is the number of moles of sodium sulfate. Uh, and then we need to divide this by 0 0.194 to get liters. All right, now we have the number in liters. Uh, well, the question is about milliliters. So there are two ways to deal with this. Uh, I can have this expression times uh, times a thousand and also there's another way to do it I don't have to convert this milliliter to liters at all I just use milliliters on top so when I do this I get the millimoles of copper to chloride and then times two-thirds I get the millimoles of sodium phosphate uh, divided by its molarity in molar will get milliliters so you can do it this way as well. Alright, and you can see uh, this is how uh, Mastering Chemistry tackles this question. Uh, they computed um, the number of moles for copper 2 chloride and then they did a 3 to 2 conversion because every 3 moles of copper chloride you react 2 moles of sodium phosphate and then finally they, they get this uh, this volume.